Have you ever encouraged someone to pray about something uh, that was uh, a burden for them? And then they respond, well, I tried that. <laughs> or have you ever done that? Have you ever just thought, well, I'll pray about this and see what happens? And uh, if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to, then um, hmm, maybe we're maybe we're treating prayer too much like a formula. Maybe we think of faith as being too much like a formula. Um, I, I wonder if the apostles did that on some occasions. Um, if if you know the question increase our faith comes up, and then Jesus responds like in Luke. Uh, chapter 17 and verse 5 and 6, uh, to where he says, you know, if you just had faith the size of a mustard seed, uh, then things would be different. That must have been, must have been frustrating for the disciples to hear. There is an account in Matthew chapter 17 I want us to consider. And uh, then we need to ask ourselves, uh, you know, what kind of faith do we have? Just how is it that we think about God doing for us what he says he's going to do? Listen, Matthew um, 17, this is verses 14 through 21. And when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to here, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. You know, there's a lot here. But when he says, you will say to this mountain, move from here to here, and it will move. There are several places in the Old Testament, Isaiah, for example, where mountains are symbolic of what is going on inside of us. And uh, you might even say there are symbolic demons inside of us, even though in this instance, it wasn't just symbolic. But in terms of how we apply this to our lives, you know, Jesus is saying, if you have faith, basically of the quality of a mustard seed. It doesn't have to be an enormous quantity. It's the quality of a mustard seed. I, I, I think what he's getting at is, is they're really not trusting him. What the disciples did was probably try to perform some sort of exorcism, would be my guess, and they weren't able to cast the demon out. I think that's why Jesus said, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Well, prayer and fasting are indicators of an ongoing relationship with Jesus. And, you know, if, if we're praying often, then we get to know God better. If we fast uh, regularly, we get to know God better. And I really encourage fasting. If you're a diabetic or have serious uh, health issues, consult your physician first, of course. But what he's getting at is this ongoing relationship. I mentioned a few weeks earlier from Hebrews 11:6 that it's impossible to please God without faith. But we not only must we believe that he exists, but we must believe that he rewards those who seek him. You know, I, I can believe with confidence that my family will reward me with their love. How do I know that? Because I spend so much time with them. I've gotten to know them. I got to know my wife pretty well before I married her, otherwise I wouldn't have married her. And you know, the same is true with Jesus. If we get to know him very well and cultivate that relationship with prayer and fasting, then the mountains inside of our hearts will move. 
It may not happen instantaneously, but they will move because in our hearts, Jesus can become bigger than those mountains. If Jesus is bigger than those mountains in our hearts, it's kind of like we see him more than we see the mountain. That's what happens with faith the size of a mustard seed. Let's pray. Father, thank you for all you offer us. Thank you for the power of faith. And thank you for making it possible as we spend time getting to know you and your son through prayer and fasting, that we have confidence in you when we ask you to remove these burdens and these obstacles from our hearts, because the more we know you, the bigger in our hearts you are than all of those obstacles. Whether it's illness, financial problems, terminal illness, uh, enemies in the world who hate you. There are so many things that can burden us, Father. But when we take the time to get to know you, then you are larger. You give us, through that faith the size of a mustard seed, the, the confidence that nothing else really matters. Thank you so much in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer and fasting, boy, they can produce good results. You guys take care. God bless.